A look at Ottawa, Ontario. It, of course, is the capital of Canada and a most beautiful city. And a look on the right at Lansdowne Stadium, the grandstand. That's the home of the Canadian Football League Ottawa Rough Riders. And on the left, the Civic Center Arena. And it's the home of the first-year NHL Ottawa Senators. Some 10,500 seats. It's a small facility under the grandstand of a football stadium. And tonight, the St. Louis Blues meet the Ottawa Senators for the very first time. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Ottawa. I'm Ken Wilson, along with Joe Micheletti and Bruce Affleck. And, oh, what an experience this is uh, for most of us. Uh, a first look at Ottawa, a first look, Joe, into this building. And as everyone at home knows, the Blues have played some great hockey lately. But uh, this is kind of a, a scary game, a, a new situation. It really is. And Bob Barry has mentioned yesterday that he's been worried about this game for the last month. Because of the fact that, you know, here's a team that's only won four games in the league and uh, a new team and you're expected to win this game and his concern is his, his own players getting ready for this game. Of course, the Blues uh, had won four in a row before losing 4-3 in Toronto last night. And I wonder, Joe, are there some keys that uh, we can share here and look at for the Blues to win this one? Yeah, I think there really are some, some real important ones. We talk about Bob Barry. The attitude of the Blues players is really the, the one real key coming into tonight's game. They have got a look at this game forget about last night's loss to Toronto come into this game and say this is a game that we have to win we've got better players we just have to go out and play better and play hard and I think number two you have to have and you have to expect great performances from the Blues top players Brett Hull Brendan Shanahan Craig Janney Nelson Emerson those four players have to go out and have great games because the Ottawa team cannot match those those four players so those those players can control this game and number three they have to get back to playing very sound defense a couple of goals last night in that Toronto game Ken where they just uh, they kind of gave up disappointing type goals if they play real solid defensive hockey this Ottawa team has trouble scoring goals they can really shut them down let's talk a little bit about the Ottawa Senators and uh, they have four wins they have all come here at home but this is a team that is really struggling they could become the worst team in NHL history. That honor at the moment belongs to the expansion 74-75 Washington Capitals. They had 22 points. Ottawa after 48 or I should say 45 games has 11 points. And of course you look at uh, some other numbers Joe. Boy they're not very good are they? Uh, 100 goals scored in 45 games. I mean you just can't win many games when you're scoring just a little over two goals a game and giving up more goals than any other team in the league uh, with 210 and of course this team is also winless on the road so when you look at statistics it certainly does not bode well for the Ottawa Senators. I guess that's part of the reason folks this can be so scary for the Blues. Everything to lose really and probably not a whole lot to gain if you want to take a kind of a curious look at two points. Bruce uh, we've seen a lot of Guy Bear lately but uh, tonight the Blues are going to go with Curtis Joseph. Well Curtis is back and healthy and no question uh, ready to play Ken and you know, in a game like this uh, a goaltender may be a key in any National Hockey League game a goaltender is a key but tonight maybe the Blues may take a little while to get going because it's the expansion Ottawa team you want Curtis to get you in the game early and keep you there. We had a chance though, to talk with uh, Blues coach Wayne Thomas about how he makes a selection of who plays the game. There's a lot of variables that go into uh, selecting the goaltender in the arena we're going into uh, whether the goalie's been on a hot streak or not whether we got one or two guys going. Um, of course the recent injury to Curtis Joseph led us to really only have Guy Hebert to play over uh, the last two weeks but with Curtis um, on the mend and ready to go tonight uh, again we'll look at uh, who we're playing and uh, the three coaches will get together and decide hopefully a day or two ahead so they can prepare uh, themselves mentally for the games to come. It seems like one of the problems the Blues have had in the net uh, when one goalie's hot the other's hot when one's playing poor the other's playing poor and that's not the way you want it you want to rotate it so when you put in that other goaltender he can take over but Curtis Joseph will be back in the nets tonight and uh, the Blues need a big game from him. Yeah they really do and uh, I just can't tell you how, uh, how worried I am about this game. I mean it's I hate games that are automatic. It's just too scary. Yeah it really is and especially here because in this building the fans are extremely enthusiastic. We'll talk about that as, as the game goes on and Rick Bonus the coach is very happy with the work, work ethic of this team. They work hard. They're not very talented but they put in a good effort. Well so we agree the Blues have to work hard. They're seven points now behind fourth place Toronto in the Norris division. They need the two points here tonight. The Blues and the Ottawa Senators coming up. This is St. Louis Blues Hockey. I'm the Rockets regular, the bumpers sing in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that shine spangles that
with our national anthems tonight. The goaltenders for tonight's game, Curtis Joseph, after sitting out some six games for the Blues, will be back in tonight after Guy Bear played last night against Toronto. And for the Ottawa Senators, Danielle Bertiome. Pretty interesting story. Bertiome started the season playing in Austria and then signed as a free agent with the Ottawa Senators in December and has been outstanding since he joined the team. The officials for tonight's game, our referee is Paul Dvorsky. The linesman Ray Scapanello and Bob Hodges. And we're just about set now for the start of this first period. Here's Ken Wilson. All right, Joe Micheletti facing off Ron Sutter. He is centering Bozon and Rich Sutter on defense. Brown and Butcher. And they draw one by the Blues from Mark Freer. And along the near boards, Butcher, he gets to the red line, shoots the puck in. Brad Shaw, who is on defense with Norm McIver, clears the puck out of his zone. Jeff Brown gets it ahead to Ron Sutter over the line. Far wing to Rich Sutter to Ron Sutter. A shot. And Makes a fine glove save and holds on as the two centers and Bozon move right in here in the opening seconds. Well, Virgil made a, a good first save. And a good, a good thing by, by Bob Barry starting off this game here because of his concern with the way his team would come out. He starts with his with the line that has been extremely effective, not necessarily scoring goals, but from a work ethic. The two Sutter brothers, along with Bozon up front, every every shift they get, they give you a lot of energy, they give you a lot of poor checking, hard work, physical type play. So Bob Barry decides to start them in this game. And the faceoff in the Senator's zone won by Ottawa. McIver number 22 over to Brad Shaw. He's number four up to Kadelski. On with Terjai and Freer. Kadelski plays it back in his own zone to Shaw. Up on the right wing to Kadelski, who started the year with the Kings. He shoots the puck in. The boards are rather dead. Back behind the net, Butcher up the near side to Rich Sutter. Now it's center ice to Brown, the Ottawa native, over the line to Bozon, a shot right on, the save by Bertiome, and he smothers the rebound, and that'll stop play, and we're still within the first minute here in the nation's capital of Canada, Ottawa, Ontario. And this Ottawa team, you talk about changes that they have made. Of course, their first coach has been Rick Bonus, who is a familiar face to Blues fan, played a couple of years with the Blues, and then last year was the coach of the Boston Bruins and took that team to the Final Four, lost in four straight to, to Pittsburgh before Pittsburgh went on to win the Stanley Cup and then was fired in the offseason, and Ottawa picked him up. He's a fine coach. Now the captain of the Senators, Laurie Boschman, out for this faceoff against Janney near the Ottawa net. And the uh, Senators control the puck. Chris Longo has it. He'll clear up the far boards. Too far for Jamie Baker. The puck the length of the ice. Sambo races back, plays it, and it's an icing call against Ottawa. Alan Bob Barry, we talked about him at the start of the game. His concern with, with this game tonight, but looking back at last night's game his coaching staff was, was very disappointed in that game last night they really felt that that they had a good chance to win that game leading two to one going into the third period and with that long power play and Toronto comes out to start the period getting five shots shorthanded against the Blues and then tying up that game and Bob Barry really felt that his team just gave one away last night for Ottawa Boschman Smale and Baker are on. Blues win the draw. Hedekin from the left point. A shot that goes well wide. Helmetless Brad Marsh on defense with Chris Longo. Clears the puck out by Zombo and Hedekin in the neutral zone with it. Clears it ahead. It hits the referee Paul Dvorsky. Then Hedekin along the near boards. Tied up by Smale. Boschman plays the puck back to Marsh. Up to center ice. Janney intercepts. He'll clear it in and Marsh goes back for it. Marsh of course will be on the all-star team. 
Now the puck deflects off Janney's stick into the Ottawa bench below us, and that will result in a stoppage in play, and the Blues and Senators will both change players. You know, we talk, uh, Joe, about Marsh, 34 years of age, and his 15th NHL season. Boy, he's, he's lasted a long time, Ken, because of the fact that he hasn't had a lot of skill in his, in, over the course of his career, but he's been one of those guys that has played with a lot of heart and an outstanding team man in the dressing room and has the ability, anybody that gets near him, once he gets a hold of you, you can't get away from him. So he's been terrific defensively. Now Ottawa at center ice with the puck. Shaw shoots it in. He's teamed this time with Hammond on defense. Here is Norwood back behind his goal, coming up the wing, clearing to center ice. A lot of people thought Norwood wouldn't be able to play tonight. Now Peluso moves in, centers the puck for Jody Hall. Kintal knocks it away, runs into Peluso. And Norwood, who uh, caught a shot in the right cheek last night in Toronto and was dazed even as late as this morning, able to play in this one. Now Peluso in the near corner along the boards for Lamb. Back to Peluso. He can't get the puck. Hall clears it around behind the net to the far side. Jody Hall tied up but gets it back right point. Shaw ahead to Hall. Peluso is near the net. The pass gets away from him. Too far for Kintal. Here's Mark Lamb shooting the puck behind the Blues net. Norwood takes over. Up the middle for Brett Hall. And the pass behind him goes the length of the ice. And Shaw back for Ottawa to touch it. And an icing call against the Blues. And there's no score in the early going. We've seen two minutes and 27 seconds of action last night Joe at Maple Leaf Gardens Brett Hall when the Blues were leading had great chances in the second period and just was stopped cold by Grant Fuhrer and then didn't do a whole lot after that. No, in fact actually criticized for a couple of defensive plays in that third period that led to goals a shorthanded goal and then the third goal that was scored by Bird when Brett Hall was right with him looked the other way Bird slipped past him and ended up scoring the third goal for Toronto. Now the face off to Joseph's left Wilson against Neil Brady Brady is out there with Tomas Jelinek and also Darcy Lowen and the Blues win the draw Brown shoots it up near boards here is Igor Korolev in the middle to Wilson over the line with Mackey screen shot and a good stick save by Berthiel. In the corner, Mackey throws his weight around. Korolev tries to get a loose puck, then he's checked by Lowen. The puck comes into the corner again. And Wilson throws a good check on Osiki. Osiki, number 24, the big Ottawa defenseman. Wilson one hands the puck along the boards, and it's taken control of by the Senators. They can't get it out. Brady's pass hitting Mackey. Brady tries again and shoots the puck by Butcher, the length of the ice. Racing back is Jeff Brown, and he gets there ahead of Tomas Jelinek to create an icing. Tomas Jelinek, a veteran player at age 30 in his first NHL season, but a, a longtime star of international play with the Czechoslovakian team. And we talked about Daniel Bertiome a little bit prior to this, prior to the game starting. Bertiome has always been known throughout his career as a player with a bad attitude. He had that in Winnipeg. He was in Los Angeles. He was in Boston. And everyone always thought he had a bad attitude and had some personal problems last year before being released from Boston. But since he arrived here in mid-December, they're just raving about his attitude. He played two nights ago when, when the Los Angeles Kings were in town here, so he gets the start here again tonight. And the backup tonight is Peter Sidorkovich, who made the All-Star team. For Bertillon, this is his seventh game. They signed him back on the 16th of December, and he didn't play a game for Ottawa until very late in the month of December. Now the faceoff. Lamb against Ron Sutter. Lamb wins the draw. Hammond sends the puck behind the net. Far corner to Shaw. He'll clear it up the boards. Not out. Left point. Hedick a shot. It goes wide. Near corner. Rich Sutter behind the net for Bozon. Trying to get it in front to Ron Sutter. But at the side of the goal, Bertillon is able to smother the puck. Well, thus far we've played about three and a half minutes. Not a lot of action thus far. The, the crowd has actually been pretty quiet. Neither team has been able to generate anything offensively. Berthiome is had to make one save in the first shift of the game on on Ronnie Sutter, but other than that, this is uh, this has been a quiet first period thus far. And the crowd here is quiet, but that's uh, not unlike crowds uh, across Canada. They are very, very quiet. Face off to the right of the Ottawa net. Ron Sutter trying to win the draw. Has the puck on his stick. Feeds it over to Hall. Holy shot. He misses the mark. And Ottawa, a 
Osiki controlling. Feeds up on the right wing. Not out. Left point. Hedek and a shot. And that's stopped by Bertillon. Then another shot from a bad angle by Ron Sutter knocked away. Osiki clears it up on the wing. Kudelski can't get out. And Osiki back in his and deep again up to Kudelski. He slaps the puck to center ice. Back in the blue zone is Zombo. He clears it away from Terjean. Up at center ice to Bozon. He stopped, but Hedekin moves up. Works to the red line. Shoots the puck in. Bozon, the two setters, Hedekin and Zombo are on. Osiki, who played last year with Calgary. Nice pass up the middle to Mark Freer. Freer into the blue zone with Terjean working to the slot. Now the puck into the corner. Hedekin takes Freer out. That allows Kadelski to go behind the net. Move in front. The shot right on. And Joseph makes the save on Bob Kadelski. No score at the Ottawa Civic Center. This is St. Louis Blues hockey. Well, Bob Kadelski just had the best chance for the Senators as three Blues were caught in the corner. Both the defensemen were in there along with a the forward. Kadelski just came around the other side and let go a quick shot that Curtis Joseph made the initial save on, and then Rick Zombo helped out on the rebound. Here's the faceoff deep in the St. Louis end. Shanahan against Boschman. And Boschman wins the draw. Left point to Marsh. He'll take a screenshot, and it deflects wide. Behind the net, Norwood. He's on defense with Kintal. Sharply up the boards to Janney. He's tied up. Now Boschman in the corner is checked. And a shot goes wide by Jamie Baker. Marsh pinches in. He's hit by Kintal. Norwood behind the net. Shoots the puck around to Janney. And he finally tips it by Chris Longo. Back into the Ottawa zone. Number nine is Doug Smale, the 35-year-old in his 13th season. He comes to the side of the net. Leaves it for Longo. Up the middle to Boschman. Boschman at the red line. Just flips the puck in. And the uh, Senators will change defensemen. Here's Kintal off the near glass. Puck played by Hammond over to Shaw. Far side. He's hit by Shanahan. And the puck back into the blue zone. Norwood has it. Clearing to center ice to Shanahan. Back deep to Norwood. And the Senators changing on the fly. Norwood up for Shanahan too far. Shaw at center ice. Shoots the puck in. It'll end up behind the net. And Kintal has it. This crowd is very quiet. They draw capacity every night, about 10,500. Quintal's pass hits Janney, goes wide of the net, and here's Stefan Quintal behind the Blues goal. Janney, Shanahan, and Hall. They're not going very far on this shift. Now Shanahan hits Hall in the uh, skate with a pass at the Ottawa line. Peluso gives the puck away to Hall, and the Blues captain works in on the right wing. He'll shoot the puck in. Bertillon leaves it for Shaw. The Blues are changing. Shaw on his own end. Gets the puck ahead. Nice move around Miller. Fine effort by Jody Hall. Jody Hall a long shot right on. Joseph the save. Rebound in the corner. Terjean leaving the puck for Jody Hall. He's tied up by Brown. Lowry back. Hit by Sylvain Terjean. And Kevin Miller, who's played well for the Blues, has the puck. Headmans it to Lowry. He works up the near wing over the red line into the Ottawa zone. Takes a shot about eight feet wide. Far boards. Brown can't keep it in. It's tipped out. And Butcher back in his own end. And Rick Bonus has his team changing again. No score. First period. About uh, six and a half minutes have gone by. Miller over the line. Stopped. And Lamb for Ottawa clears the puck out. Jeff Brown backs into his own end with a puck. Shoots it off the far boards. Kevin Miller is tied up by Osiki. And the puck shot in by Ottawa. Kudelski chasing after Brown. And Kudelski runs into his own man Lowen as Brown shoots the puck out. It'll go deep into the Ottawa zone. And the Blues are changing. Norm McIver with the puck. He's been a key man for Ottawa this year. Up to Osiki. And a pass is behind Lowen. Then Hedekin will come out of his own end. Stick handling to center ice. The Blues rookie. Into the Ottawa zone, then he's checked, knocked down by Lowen. And back deep for the puck is centerman Mark Freer. He's tied up. Then Mackey, a centering effort, tipped away from Korolev. And the puck cleared out by Ottawa. Back into the blue zone forward is Hedekin. The Senators are changing. Up to Mackey, back to Hedekin. He works to his own line. Far side, loses the puck. And here's Jelena. He can't go anywhere with it. Now here's Dombo working to center ice, and he'll shoot the puck in. Marsh back for it, gets it up on the near wing to Smale at his own line, long right wing pass. Jelinek is checked on the play by Norwood, and the Blues at center ice. The referee, Paul Dvorsky, falls down as Korolev moves in over the line, far left wing, fakes a shot, now in the corner. A centering pass for Kintal goes off a skate wide. Kintal to Ron Sutter behind the net. 
To Korla, back to Ron Sutter, a centering effort blocked. Then Bozon gets the puck in the corner. Here's Philippe Bozon leaving it behind the net for Korla. He's tied up, but now Ron Sutter trying to center to Bozon. And the play broken up, and Laurie Boschman deep in his own end with a puck. Plays it up the far wing. Jelinek can't get it out, kept in by Norwood. And here's Chris Longo with it. Nice pass up to Boschman. At center ice to the veteran Doug Smale. Now to Marsh with Baker. And the shot by Smale knocked away. Then Baker tries to center. And play is stopped out at the blue line by Ray Scapanello, the linesman. There is no score in Ottawa in the first period. And this is St. Louis Blues hockey. Well, there's a lot of history here to hockey. Of course, the Ottawa Senators back in the early part of the century were in the NHL. So they have brought the Senators back and they own the puck. At center ice, it's shot in by Hammond behind the net. Norwood plays it. No score. Coming up to the nine minute mark in the first period. And the Blues come to center ice. Shanahan to Janney with Emerson over the line. Janney works in front. One hand shot. He scores. What a great play by Craig Janney. And the Blues outstanding centerman gives the Blues a 1 0 lead. He had scored only one goal in 20 games prior to last night. He scored in Toronto and he scores again tonight. Last night was the 100th goal of his NHL career. This is 101. And what a play. Lee Norwood starts off the play behind his own net, just trying to clear it. Shanahan is way out in the center ice area who stops it and gives it to Janney, who's one on one with Brad Shaw. Now he just waits for Shaw to play the puck. Shaw went for the puck. He slid the puck through him and then just reached around with one hand and just poked it past Berthume for the goal and a 1-0 lead. What a play by Janney. 849. Janney gets his 10th. Wins the faceoff from Boschman and certainly back in his own end. Jeff Brown. On with Butcher. Up the middle to Emerson. Still with Janney and Shanahan. Then he's checked. Baker a right wing pass. Too far for Smale. Brown back in his own end. Near side to Butcher. Works to the neutral zone. Butcher ahead to Janney. Janney over the line, and he can't get around long. Oh, here's Marsh back with a puck right in front of his net. Up to Boschman. Here come the Senators on the attack. Laurie Boschman over the line. A pass behind Marsh. He'll go into the corner. Sends it behind the net. And Smale can't play it, and Jeff Brown has control. The Blues defenseman, of course, will go to the All-Star game early February in Montreal. He and Brett Hall will be representing the Blues. Brown to Butcher up at center ice. Too far for Brett Hall and Longo. Will go back deep in his own end. He's the Detroit native who played his college hockey at Michigan State. Number 23, Chris Longo. You might recall he played a few games with the Detroit Red Wings. He leaves the puck for Mark Lamb. He spins away from Hall. Lamb's role is uh, defending against the big scorers when they play Ottawa. Up to Peluso. He gets the puck in. Zombo clears it out. Hall can't play it. And here's Shaw on his own end for Ottawa. Over to Ken Hammond, who's been around a bit. Up to Mark Lamb in the middle. Peluso is the left wing. The puck shot in. Peluso after it. Zombo sees him. Gets good position. And that allows Hedekin to get the puck. Up to center ice to Lowry. Not a Miller over the line to Lowry. A shot. And that hits a skate and goes wide. Brett Hall after the puck. But Mike Peluso gets it. Can't clear it out. Right point. Zombo is shot over the net. And Brad Shaw gets the puck in the corner. Plays it up on the wing. And Jody Hall tips it back into the blue zone. Both teams are changing now. The Blues lead it 1-0. 9.25 to go in the first period. Ron Sutter picks up a pass, works through center ice, wrists one right on goal, and waist high. Goaltender Danielle Bertiol makes the save and holds the puck to stop play. That goal at 8.49, Janney from Shanahan and Norwood, the tenth of the season for Craig Janney. You mentioned Mark Lamb, Ken. He was with Edmonton last year and did an outstanding job as a checker. Thus far in this first period, he has been the player that uh, has been out against Brett Hall. And what he is doing is following Hall all over the ice. As soon as the Blues have control of the puck, Mark Lamb is going right to Brett Hall no matter where he is on the ice. He's forgetting about forechecking or any other type of defensive play with the exception of staying as close to Brett Hall as he possibly can. Ron Sutter wins the draw from Neil Brady into the far corner. Rich Sutter now behind the Ottawa net trying to work in front unable to. Leaves the puck behind the goal for brother Ron. Bozon goes to the front of the net. Now Bozon behind the net. Centers. Rich Sutter, bad angle. He's checked. Knocked off the puck by Norm McIver. His pass to center ice. Kudelski has to go off his stick back deep in his own end. And the 
Senators control at their defense. McIver takes a hit, gets it ahead, though, to Brady. His right wing pass too far for Kadelski. The puck near the Blues net. Norwood can't get it out. It's centered. Turja in front can't get a shot. A good centering pass that time by Neil Brady. The Blues shoot the puck down the ice. There'll be no icing. And Osiki is back. Blues are changing. They're up 1 0 on Janney's goal. To center ice. Ottawa, they'll send the puck in, and back forward is Butcher. Clearing it around near side to Korolev on with Wilson and Mackey. Korolev can't get out. In the corner, Kadelski to Terja. Korolev covers him well. Wilson gets the puck. Now up to Brown, up the near right wing, into the Ottawa zone. Brown centers in the slot. Korolev a shot right on, and a fine save by Bertiol. It's 1 0 St. Louis. This is St. Louis Blues hockey. Blues Hockey is brought to you by Circuit City, where service is state of the art. Ken Wilson along with Joe Micheletti and Bruce Affleck were at the Civic Center in Ottawa. And they clapped their hands in a big way here in the nation's capital. You like that, John? Uh, that was that. good. Yeah, very afternoon. good. Very good, Ken. All afternoon. Uh -huh. We're trying to spruce things up a little bit here tonight. <laughs> We've got some of our C and D material lined up. <laughs> <laughs> Here's you the went to the off. back page. <laughs> <laughs> and the puck in this circle. It comes to Hall, a shot, and it deflects high and comes down in the corner. Controlled by Mark Freer. He can't get out of the corner. Ron Wilson does, working in front of backhand shot. Bertie Olmas stick save. And the Senators try to work out. Finally, Lowen gets it to center ice, loses the puck. Butcher has it. Far wing to Hall in the middle to Wilson. Korolev, Wilson, and Hall as Hall is double shifting. Wilson knocked down, and Marsh comes out of his own end for Ottawa. They trail the Blues 1 0. Then Brett Hall trips Brad Marsh. No call. Brown, right wing pass for Korolev. He tries to cut in with a bouncing puck, stops and falls down. Clearing the puck out is Darcy Lowen. Played by Jelinek. Too far for Freer, and here's Brown ahead to Brett Hall. He's bumped, loses the puck. And here comes Butcher carrying in up the far wing. He drops it for Korolev in the far left circle. Waits, sends it behind the net. That's Janney behind the goal, trying to get it in front. Unable to, and Freer clears to center ice. And Hedekin will work back into his own zone. Clearing off the far boards for Janney. He takes a bump from Peluso, and Hedekin gets the puck back. Hedekin to Janney over the line. Janney drops it for Emerson. Left side to Shanahan, and a one-timer goes wide. Boy, they play well together. Janney, Emerson, and Shanahan. Now Jelinek to center ice over to Shaw. The Ottawa defenseman drops the puck in. Near side, Tomas Jelinek avoids a Hedekin check. Leaves it for Peluso in the corner. He drops it for Lamb, and Peluso takes out Janney, and there'll be a penalty, a high-sticking penalty called here against the tough guy of the Senators. Mike Peluso, and that's the first penalty of the game. Peluso has is, is really turned into a very popular player here in Ottawa. Now on the play, Peluso had the puck and just dropped it and collided with Craig Janney. They both had got their elbows and sticks up, and Peluso was called for high sticking, so the Blues will get their first power play opportunity of the evening. You know, you look at Mike Peluso, and of course last year he played for Chicago the last couple of years for the Blackhawks. Big, tough kid, likes to play aggressively. Well, he scored 10 goals this year, which is currently third on this team. It gives you some kind of an idea of the offensive abilities of this team. Mike Peluso, not an offensive player at all, but a guy that plays with a lot of heart, and he has really been uh, taken into here in Ottawa. 13-16, the time of the high sticking penalty to Peluso. Here come the Blues on the power play. Brown up to Korolev. He shoots the puck in near corner. Miller lets it go to Ron Sutter. He sets up a home in the corner. Now out to the right point to Emerson. Left point. Brown fakes back to Emerson. Near side for Ron Sutter. The pass broken up. Smale clears the puck out, and Emerson controls in the neutral zone. Over to Kevin Miller along the far boards. He loses the puck. A pass ahead by Ottawa to Smale working over the line. He gives the puck to Lamb, and Emerson steals it, leaves it for Brown, and Brown moves ahead to center ice. Now to Kevin Miller. Miller, Korolev, and Shanahan now on the power play with Brown and Emerson working deep into the Ottawa zone in the corner. Miller, then he loses the puck, and it's played nicely up to Smale. 
Hammond did the good work at the other end. Smale over the line to Shaw, working right in front, and he loses the puck. Lamb after it, dumps it into the corner, and Emerson has it. The Blues, much of the time last night in Toronto, didn't do much on the power play. Emerson at center ice to Shanahan. Over the line, a slap shot, and it's blocked by Osiki. He goes into the corner, loses the puck. Jeff Brown centers, and it was headed for Hall, but Bertiome gets his stick in the way, and back comes McIver for Ottawa. They're shorthanded over the line to Boschman. Back to McIver. He's surprised, and Brown starts out to Shanahan, not a Janney. Half a minute to go in the power play. Drop pass to Hall in front. The Brown, he shoots and scores. Oh, baby, what great passing as the Blues just move the puck up ice and make it look easy. And they score with 33 seconds left on the power play to make it two to nothing. And that was because of a turnover at the Blues blue line. The Blues came back four on two, actually. Janney handling the puck over the blue line, drops it for Hall, and a perfect pass from Hall over to Jeff Brown, who just fired it high into the empty net on the short side for the 2 nothing lead. Shanahan had gone into the net and distracted the goaltender and one of the defensemen, McIver, and that left Brown with a lot of room on the short side. And he scores his 15th goal of the year with that shot. Blues leading 2 0. What a goal. Oh, that was as pretty as they come. A great behind the back pass, almost through the legs, I guess, by Channy over the blue line. And then a heads up pass by Hall. Now the Senators get the puck at center ice, and they'll shoot it in. Backboard is controlled. The Blues are up 2 0. Here in the first period in Ottawa, the puck along the far boards. The Blues can't get it out. Mark Freer after it. Leaves it for Turgeon, who centers to control. Delsky, and Kintal gets in the way of his shot. Ron Sutter can't get it out. McIver knocks it down. Freer centers for Turgeon, tipped away, and Norwood moves it ahead to Ron Sutter over the Ottawa blue line. A pass for Brother Rich, who turned into the middle, and the Senators get the puck, and it's cleared out to center ice. And it's knocked down. Rich Sutter gets it and shoots it in as both teams are changing. 14-43, the time of the goal. Brown from Hall and Janney, a power play goal. Lamb works in for Ottawa. Peluso goes to the net. He's right in the crease. And a save by Joseph, and he swats the rebound away. Janney has it. Out of traffic in his own end. Right wing pass for Emerson. Knocked down by Peluso. He leaves the puck in his own end for Marsh. Up to the red line to Lamb. Now cutting in. An opportunity for Jody Hall. He gives the puck to Lamb. He's checked by Shanahan. And he'll shoot the puck into the Ottawa zone. And there are four minutes to go in the first period. The Blues lead two to nothing. Longo pursued behind his net by Emerson. Gets the puck to Jody Hall. Now to Peluso in the center circle. Right wing to Lamb into the blue zone. Lamb leaves the puck for Jody Hall. He goes behind the net. Works into the near corner. Tries to center. Shanahan knocks the puck down. Jody Hall sends it to Lamb behind the net. He's bumped by Zombo who takes over. Zombo's on with Hedekin. Janney, Shanahan, and Emerson. A pass up the near right wing side to Emerson. And he'll just flip the puck into the Ottawa zone as the Blues and Senators are changing. Janney and Brown have scored for the Blues. They're up 2-0. Here's Boschman working in. His pass for Smale too far. He's tied up by Lowry. They wrestle in the corner a bit. The puck along the near board, centered by Baker. Shaw knocked off the puck. Now Baker gets it back, far corner, behind the net to Lori Boschman. Boschman leaves it for Baker. He's got Smale in front. Matt Angle shot tips over the goal. Near side now, Jeff Brown there, bodied by Boschman. And Lowry knocks Boschman down and gets the puck. Shoots it around behind the net, out far side to Brett Hull. And he'll clear it through center ice into the Ottawa zone. The Blues are up two to nothing. They're changing again. Hammond to pass for Shaw goes by him, comes to center ice, and the puck ends up on the stick of Brady. And his long shot stopped by goalie Curtis Joseph. Blues back, couple of passes up to Miller over the line. Kevin Miller in front for Brett Hall, and the pass is broken up. Osiki gets it ahead. Here's Lowen over the line with Jelinek behind him. He sweeps the puck through the crease, and it goes untouched. Darcy Lowen picks the puck up along the near boards. He's checked by Norwood and Neil Brady battling along the boards. Held off for a moment. And finally, the uh, two players fall down and smother the puck. It's two to nothing. The Blues lead it late in the first period. This is St. Louis Blues hockey. Blues hockey is brought to you in part by Dobbs Tire and Auto Centers with 30 convenient locations. The Senators, they've got their own trumpet player here at the Civic Center. 
And the Blues control from the faceoff in their own end. Norwood shoots the puck to center ice. Ron Wilson after it. Overskates it. Gets it back. Feeds it over the line to Mackey. He'll dump it into the corner. Wilson centering Korolev and Mackey. Senators can't clear Wilson. Into the corner to Korolev. He's being pursued by Mark Freer. They battle along the near boards. The puck comes out. And here's Sylvain Turgeon in his 10th NHL season. He gives the puck to McIver. He works in over the line. Tips the puck into the corner. And Stefan Kuntal is there. He's bumped by Turgeon. Gives Turgeon a bit of an elbow. And Kudelski to Turgeon. Bad angle shot. And a good pass save with a left leg by Joseph. Wilson at center ice takes a feed from Norwood. And flips the puck in. And the Blues and the Senators are changing on the go. There's a minute 25 to go here in the opening period in Ottawa. And the Blues lead 2-0. Senators shoot the puck in from their side of center. First man to it is Peluso. He gets driven to the boards by Zombo, and Hedekin has the puck. Up on the far wing to Bozon with the two setters. Right wing pass too far for Rich. He goes after it. Now behind the net to Bozon. He has a couple of players to get around. Works to the corner. Tries to center. And it's intercepted. Jody Hall up to Peluso. Not a lamb. Back to Peluso. He's stopped by Zombo. Loose puck at center ice. Here's Bozon. Under a minute to go in the first period. Bozon stops in the corner. Can't get around Longo. Then Marsh. Takes out Rich Sutter behind the net. The puck kick loose into the corner to Bozon. He sends it back behind the net. Rich Sutter and Marsh are still there. And then Bozon behind the goal with Ron Sutter and the puck at the side of the net. And Danielle Bertiome is able to smother the puck. It's two to nothing, Blues. Let's pause here. Five seconds for station identification. This is St. Louis Blues hockey. David Carradine returns in Kung Fu. The legend continues. with 38.9 seconds to go in this first period. The Blues have done what they wanted to do in this first period. Curtis Joseph hasn't really faced many difficult scoring situations at all. A couple of saves he's had to make have been from the corners, from the angles, and he's just held his position well and has been able to come up with the save. So the Blues have played well in their own and uh, can defensively, keeping that puck away from the slot, away from the middle of the ice, and making it uh, fairly easy for Curtis Joseph here in the first. Janney and Brown are the goal scorers, the faceoff deep in the Ottawa end. You might wonder about the shots on goal. So do we. <laughs> you, keep yes, looking, we do. you keep looking for that shot clock, and we were told before the game that the shot clock for the Ottawa Civic Center is on order. So we don't have a shot clock, but uh, between periods we'll find out the uh, shots on each side in the opening period. Here come the Senators to center ice. Going to be ready for the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Puck goes wide to Joseph as the Senators shoot it in. Here's Butcher clearing it out to center ice to Shanahan. On with Janney and Hull. Shanahan shoots the puck in. In the corner, Brett Hull digs it out. Goes behind the net. Goes into the far circle. Right point. Nice pass to Butcher. Side of the net for Shanahan. It goes wide. And Janney centers all the way back to Butcher at the right point. Lamb goes down. Butcher works into the corner around him. Goes behind the net. Centers in front trying to get a shot. A couple of the Blues. As Janney and Brown try, they are unsuccessful. And that's how the first period will end here in Ottawa as the Blues get both goals in the period. Janney scores at 8.49. Brown scores at 14.43. Well, coming up during this first intermission, Bruce Affleck is going to chat with Mike Peluso of the Senators. Stay with us for that. This is St. Louis Blues Hockey. Joe Micheletti and Bruce Affleck here at the Civic Center in Ottawa. Those of you with us on television see the overhang, if you will, on one side of the arena here. And that is... Uh, Actually, and you can see some girders at the top of your screen. Those are girders holding up one of the sideline grandstand at Lansdowne Stadium. This arena is built right under the grandstand, and behind the wall where the banners are, that's the concourse uh, right underneath the football grandstand. So we're, we're practically in a football stadium. That's why they're building a new arena. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, you know, Ken, you talk about uh, New Jersey. Uh, Bernie Nichols, of course, traded uh, this morning from the Edmonton Oilers to the New Jersey uh, uh, Devils for Zidane Seeger and Kevin Todd. So uh, New Jersey finally, finally picking up a pretty good center iceman. 
Now we're underway here, and the Devils shoot the puck in. Brown plays it around near side. Neil Brady intercepts, centers. It comes to the point. McIver tries to get a shot, does, and it's knocked away. Butcher in the corner. Up to Rich Sutter. He tips it out. Now Shaw ahead. It's sent in by Lowen. It's a delayed offside against Ottawa. Here's Jeff Brown cutting in front of the net. Still in his own end. Now at the red line to Ron Sutter on with brother Rich and Bozon dumping it into the corner. Shaw back. Plays it off the boards. Lowen run into by Bozon. Now Brad Shaw will try to work to center ice. A little flip pass up the near wing. And the puck shot in by Darcy Lowen, the former Buffalo Sabre. In the corner, Brady is bumped. The puck is centered out in front. And Shanahan there to clear it away. And here's Marsh skating back at his own end to play it to Chris Longo. Both teams changing here just underway. A minute gone in the second period. A pass goes a length of the ice. There'll be no icing. Joseph at the edge of the crease decides to smother the puck with a couple of senators there. And the whistle stops play with the Blues leading Ottawa two to nothing. And Curtis Joseph not taking any chances at all in that first period. He only faced five shots, not uh, not any from any difficult angles at all. The ones he did face, he was able to handle easily and then cover up any question at all. He just covered up and made sure that they got the whistles and the faceoffs in, in their own zone. Now the Blues have Janney on with Shanahan. And Emerson on defense, Hedekin and Zombo. Janney will face off against Boschman to Curtis Joseph's right. And they have a false start. And they're going to wave out both players. Shanahan now will move in and take the face off against Jamie Baker. Marsh back at the left point. Longo is at the right point as the Senators set up for this face off at the Blues end. And Zombo moves in the circle too quickly. Blues lead it 2 nothing. Janney and Brown scoring in the first period. Boschman with Baker and Smale up front for Ottawa. Another false start. Joe, why don't you go down there and drop it? <laughs> Somebody has to. Just drop it. That's Bob Hodges, the linesman. Uh, He's the dropped referee. a few in his day. Yeah, the referee, Paul Dvorsky, skates through and gives some instruction. And Shanahan wins the draw from Baker. Zombo in the corner. Looks up, gets the puck to Janney. Plays it across near side to Emerson. He's at the red line. Emerson has a lot of room. Works in over the line. Drops the puck for Shanahan. Top of the near left circle. He drops it for Hennigan. He sends it to the side of the net. Tipped to the corner. And here's Brad Marsh. Long pass too far for Baker. Zombo at his own line. He'll shoot it into the Ottawa zone. This will be an icing. Marsh touching the puck. And play stopped here very early. In period number two, the Blues leading it two to nothing. And nice to see Nelson Emerson back in the lineup. Of course, he played last night in Toronto, but Emerson providing that line with a lot of speed and missing that game in Detroit. Corlett played on that wing, did a pretty good job in the in the absence of uh, of Nelson Emerson. But now that that eye is back to somewhat normal we should say at least he can see out of it and of course that was the big concern that the, uh, the Blues trainers and, and doctors had with Nelson Emerson yeah, last night he wore a protective shield on his helmet has that off tonight now the face off to Joseph's right Janney wins the draw from Boschman can tall in trouble behind the net here's Smale into the corner to Boschman he centers Janney intercepts clears it ahead and it's knocked out of the zone by Emerson with a puck at center ice. Ottawa. Jamie Baker over the line to Smale. Long shot. Good save by Joseph. The rebound to Janney. Banks the puck to center ice off the glass. MacGyver back in his own zone to Longo. Up to Boschman. He'll shoot the puck in. Janney was upset with him at the last faceoff. Janney gives him a bit of an elbow. The puck deep in the St. Louis zone. They can't clear. Screen shot. Longo. And that's blocked by Norwood. Boy, he's blocked a lot of shots. Blues at center ice. Janney over the line. Drop pass. Shannon had a blast right on. Bertie on the save. Janney to the blue line. Butcher a drive and a good stick save by the Ottawa goaltender. Jody Hall clears the puck to his own line. And it's kicked out by Longo. Now to Smale. The old timer on this club over the line. Smale with Jody Hall. And he's taken out. Now Janney at center ice to the Blues Hall. This is Brett. Brett over the line to Brown. Left side. Shanna and a shot. And Bertie Ohm sticks out his right pad to make the save. And Ken Hammond charges to center ice for the Senators. He'll shoot the puck in near corner. It bounds behind the net. Joseph clears it up the near boards. Peluso knocks the puck down. Butcher pins him to the boards. 
Kevin Miller in the corner along with Jody Hall. The puck goes behind the St. Louis net. Jeff Brown has it out on the right wing to Brett Hall. Near side to Kevin Miller. Over the line to Lowry. A drop pass for Miller. He went the other way. And so does Peluso. Up to Hall. Jody Hall. Now to Mark Lamb. Left wing for Peluso. He can't handle the pass. Sends the puck in the corner to Jody Hall. He leaves it there for Lamb. Lamb working to the top of the circle out near the blue line drops the puck straight away Shaw left point Ken Hammond in the near corner to Lamb Lamb sends the puck behind the net far side Brett Hall gets a step on Hammond works to the red line and can't move in loose puck Jody Hall has it he misfires and back deep in his own end is Butcher both teams are changing here the Blues up to nothing Long Butcher pass to Brett Hall at center ice his pass gets away Turgeon attempts to move in the puck gets in front of him he runs into Butcher and goes down and the Blues clear to center ice well, on the near boards Osiki shooting the puck in bows on back behind his net he's chased by Freer leaves the puck Kodelski gets it in front to Turgeon a shot good save by Joseph on the veteran Sylvain Turgeon Blues to center ice. Butcher will whack it in. It's deflected right to Bertillon. And the Blues change again. Now the setters are on with Bozon. Good for checking by Ron. The puck goes to Bozon. He stuffs it into the corner. Ron after it. Freer gets there. Plays it. It goes right in front and diving out. Danielle Bertillon to smother the puck. Second period action. And the Blues lead the Senators 2 to nothing. This is St. Louis Blues hockey. Welcome back to the Civic Center in Ottawa, Canada. The Blues leading the Senators two to nothing here in the second period. And the face off to the left of the Ottawa goal. Ron Sutter loses the draw to Boschman. Here's Longo behind the net. Longo is on with Marsh. Boschman is centering Kadelski. And on the left wing, Freer, the pass goes a length of the ice. Freer may beat Hedekin to it. He does. There's no icing. And Zombo is checked. It's centered by Kadelski. Terzow came on. After the faceoff has a shot stop. Right point long ago. He tees it up. Drive off the chest of Joseph. And he'll smother the rebound to stop playing. A little light there from the Ottawa Senators. Well, two pretty good saves by Curtis Joseph. The first one on Sylvain Turgeon, who leads the Senators with 15 goals and had seven shots the other night against the L.A. Kings but failed to score. Good job, good hustling by the Ottawa team getting down there to prevent an icing. And then they do some good forechecking. 61 is Turgeon in front who takes the pass and let's go a quick wrist shot that Joseph made the first save on. And then the puck's going to come across to the right point. And Longo with the shot. Curtis Joseph makes the save and is able to control the rebound and hold on. Pretty good pressure by Ottawa. Greg Janney scored at 849 of the first period. Jeff Brown a power play goal at 1443. That's been the only scoring. Now the faceoff near Joseph Lamb against Wilson of the Blues. Lamb centering Peluso and Jody Hall. Ron Wilson wins the draw. Kintal is on defense with Norwood. Has the puck, has some skating room. Up the near side, he's at the checkered red line. Fires the puck in, it circles behind the net. Wilson skates in, tips it to Korolev. He works behind the Ottawa goal. Comes in front to his forehand, a shot! Good save by Bert Diom, and the puck left there, and he'll hold on. And Peluso and Wilson do a little shoving, and Ron Wilson not taking a back seat when he's there bumping with the big guy who has a huge size advantage. Yeah, but Ron Wilson's got a lot of heart, and he has really played well the last six or seven games. Korolev with a good chance going around the net. He uses um, some good strength to get in front of the net. And then let's go a quick forehand shot that Bertio made the save on, and then is helped out by Osiki on the rebound shot. But Korolev... Going to his forehand shot, trying to get a quick shot past Bertillon, but Bertillon came up with the save. The Blues coming into this game, having won four out of five. Even with uh, last night considered, they still have allowed only eight goals in the last five games. And, of course, shutting out Ottawa here tonight in Canada, two to nothing. Face off in the Ottawa zone. Peluso rips the helmet off Korolev. McIver in front of his net feeds the center ice to Peluso, and then... Brett Hall intercepts a pass. Now to Wilson. Ahead for Korolev. Peluso is all over him. And back deep for the puck is Osiki. Around the boards. Jody Hall can't clear it out. Kept it at the point by Norwood. It comes ahead. Hits Ron Wilson in the side of the head. And he goes down. Boy, this is a little reminiscent of last night when Lee Norwood got hit by a shot. 
Big cut on the upper lip of Garth Butcher when he was high stick late, uh, late in the game. The uh, Blues had a lot of injuries, and ironic that Lee Norwood is right there, <laughs> first man to oversee the situation he's, with Ron Wilson. He's saying, I know how it feels. Sorry, <laughs> sorry I did it to you. Yeah, really? <laughs> it was in the corner. Wilson did a good job, and Ottawa was trying to clear the puck. Now, Norwood was at the left point on the boards. He kept the puck in, and he fired it in, and just as Wilson was turning to get back into the play, he caught that shot right on the side of the head. May have caught him in the left ear. And a face-off will be out of the neutral center ice area with 14-33 to go here in the second period. Now it's Miller with Hall and Lowry against Lamb, Peluso, and Hall. And here's Norwood at center ice. He'll wind her up, shoot it in well wide. McIver along the far boards in his own end, skates to center ice. Brett Hall doing some good forward checking. Pass up to Peluso. He'll backhand it in. Wide of the goal. Here's Cantal. Around far boards. Brett Hall is tied up. Kevin Miller gets the puck, looks for Lowry. Has a pass go over Lowry's stick. Then Osiki bumped along the near boards by Lowry, but Jody Hall wheels the puck in. Back for it again, Cantal. He's run by Peluso, gets the puck to Lowry, and he fires it along the near boards, and it hits a player on the Ottawa bench. And fans, you know, there's only one thing better than a Blues win, and that's celebrating with an ice-cold Budweiser. Budweiser, the king of beers. Now we talked about this building holding 10,500 people. One of the new features here are the, are the sky boxes, they call them here. They hold 10 people, and it costs $70,000 just to get one of these, but after you put down your $70,000, you were also responsible for paying to have it built, and then you had to buy the 10 tickets for the seats inside, so the total cost of these things comes to about $100,000, and they're not uh, what you would call luxury no, skyboxes. They're, they're, they're boxes, <laughs> little squares <laughs> hanging from the roof. A couple of stools and... Maybe a little wet bar. That's about it. Blues come to center ice. Emerson, a pass for Shanahan. Turned away. Now up to Boschman. Over the line. Smail to the net. The pass to Smail. He tips it right on. Good save, Joseph. Now Boschman, an effort that goes wide. The puck loose in the blue zone. And Brown gets it. Nicely ahead to Shanahan with Emerson. Over the line to Emerson. In front of shot. Bergeel. A terrific save on Nelson Emerson. Oh, what a save. And in fact, great saves at both ends of the ice. Boy, both goaltenders having to come up with their best saves, and both of those saves were on deflections. A two-on-one, Emerson using his great speed going down the middle of the ice. Shanahan waiting for him to break through, and then a perfect little flip pass from Shanahan that was deflected by Emerson. Berthiome anticipated and slid across and made a great save on Emerson. And then just prior to that, Laurie Boschman, with the puck, handling the puck, and he flips it in front for Doug Smale, who deflected it, and Curtis Joseph made his best save of the game. Blues are up two to nothing. Face off to Berthy Holmes left. Boschman wins it from Shanahan. Hammond under pressure from Janney, who steals behind the net. Clears to the near boards. Here is Emerson. He'll leave the puck as Shaw pressures him. Shanahan now clears it along the boards out to center ice, and Jeff Brown has it. He shoots it in off the glass in the far corner, and Ken Hammond is back for it. Ken Hammond, number five, playing with his eighth NHL team. Clears it up. The puck deflects to Boschman. Left wing to Smale. Trying to cut in on Butcher. Moves to the side of the net. Works in front of shot. Great save. Loose puck. Hammond shoots and scores. Ken Hammond. We just talked. Two to one, Blues. Well, you certainly couldn't expect Curtis Joseph to make that last, make a save on that last shot as he made a terrific save. Ottawa came back down three on two on the Blues, and Doug Smale's going to end up going right in front of the net. He makes a good play. Janney was back trying to help out Joseph with a couple of saves, and then Ottawa just sends everybody at the net. No one picks up Hammond, the defenseman who came in late on the play. Hammond is the last guy back for Ottawa, and he just keeps following up to the net. Emerson tries to take a man. Shanahan is in there. Bush
Crusher in there trying to clear the front of the net, and Hammond just walked right in and put it into the empty net. Now back the other way, the Blues, and a shot by Hennigan blocked and goes wide. Now loose puck, far circle, Ron Sutter, a shot, hits his brother Rich, and the puck chopped out by Kadelski. Freer with it along the near boards. Far side pass to Marsh, and he'll shoot the puck in. Goal number two this season for Ken Hammond. That's right, he's a defenseman with his eighth NHL team. Blues shoot the puck through center, it deflects into the Ottawa end. The Blues now lead only two to one. Here's Sylvain Turgeon, number 61 over the red line, long drive, and the save by Joseph. And Hedekin goes behind the net with a rebound. Far wing pass, tipped by Bozon, out to Ron Sutter, over the line with Brett Hull. A shot right on, rebound, Bozon! Tips it just wide. That was a tough save for Berthi Ohm because the blade of Hull's stick and the puck came at him at the same time. He had the real good concentration. Mark Lamb takes over for the Senators in his own end. Aaron pass at center ice. Here's Norwood at the Blues line. Over to Kintal. Now to Lowry breaking in. A drop pass for Kevin Miller in the slot. A shot off Osiki wide. It's Lowry, Hall, and Miller. Right point. Pass in front to Miller. A shot. Pad saved by Bertie Ohm as Kintal set up Miller alone. Third on to center ice, shoots the puck in. Kevin Miller back. Now to Lowry at the red line. Lowry in over the line. A drop pass for Kintal. He'll send the puck behind the net, chased around the near boards by Brad Shaw. Then Miller tips the puck, but it comes to center ice. On to Smale stick. 2-1 Blues lead. Over the line, Ottawa offside. And play stop with 11-16 to go in the second period. This is St. Louis Blues Hockey. Well, the Blues had a great opportunity to regain that two-goal lead. Two good pass passes, one from Dave Lowry to Kintal on the point, then Kintal puts it over to Kevin Miller, and Miller didn't realize how much time he had. He tried to get the shot off quickly. Perfume was down on the ice, and he wasn't, wasn't able to get the puck high enough over the pad and into the net. A great save by Perfume. Now play resumes. Janney and Boschman still go at it at the St. Louis Blue Line. Blues can't get out. Smale along the boards, tied up by Brown. Knocked down. Not a Boschman. He centers. Tipped away by Joseph. Shanahan in his own end. Loses the puck to Smale along the boards, but regains possession. Now behind the net to Brown. Brown with Butcher, who takes a pass at his own line. Tips the puck into the Ottawa zone. Seven minutes into this second period, Hammond scores his second from Smale and Shaw. At center ice, Baker over the line to Smale. A low drive. Stick save, Joseph. And he corrals the rebound for a whistle and a stoppage in play. Nine minutes and 26 seconds into the second period. Boy, you can just feel this. Ottawa team with a little bit more spark here after scoring that goal. A good chance. Now, Boschman is playing against the Jandy line here. This time it's Doug Smale over the blue line with the long shot that Curtis Joseph made the save on. But Boschman and Jandy have really been going at each other. That goes back from the first period as Rick Bonus is playing that tougher line against the Jandy line. They're doing a pretty good job. Remember, the Blues outshot Ottawa 10-5 in the first period. The Blues in this period outshooting the Senators 10-6. So the Blues have a 20-11 shot on goal advantage, but their lead is a rather meager 2-1 as Janney and Brown scored in the first period. Hammond has scored here in the second period for the Senators. Brian, right, you hate to see those good scoring chances just go by the wayside with Miller especially. Face off, back to Osiki, right point, a drive, and a blocker save by Janney. Hedekin takes the puck. Just slides it to center ice. Ron Sutter will circle at his own line. Back to Hedekin along the far boards. He comes to the red line and backhands the puck in. Osiki has it. Off the boards by everybody down the ice. There'll be no icing. Zombo back behind the net. Gets hit. Hedekin takes the puck, clears it up the boards for Rich Sutter. Now to brother Ron, back to Rich, over the line. In front, Ron Sutter can't play it, has to send it behind the net, near side. Jody Hall clears it off Korolev to center ice. He steals it back from Lowen and works in. Here is Korolev, far circle, tries to cut to the net, does, but loses the puck, and Darcy Lowen clears it out. This puck will go the length of the ice and be icing. Zombo back to touch it, and an icing call against Ottawa. They trail the Blues, 2-1. to one. 
here in the second period. And of course, uh, Ottawa, as we mentioned, losing their last game, three to two here to Los Angeles Tuesday. And over the last 19 games, they've won two and tied two, but dropped 15. Well, let's remind you that you can still pick up Brett Hall's Top Gun video. You can pick it up right now at all your St. Louis area Midas shops for just $9.95. Remember, nobody beats Midas. Nobody. And in that game two nights ago, that L.A. came back to win. They trailed two to nothing. And then came out in the second period, had 25 shots on goaltender Daniel Berthion before finally scoring a goal late in the third period to win it. Now the faceoff to the right of the net, back to Hull at the point. Oh, he really tests Berthion, who makes a very nice pad save. Hull from the right point. Ottawa shoots the puck out. Now behind the play, there'll be a penalty. Brett Hall takes Jody Hall down. The penalty will be against Ottawa. Norwood's pass too far at center ice. And Ottawa will pick up a penalty. They trail the Blues 2-1. to one. Mike Peluso will go off. This is St. Louis Blues hockey. Well, the Blues will go back on the power play as Mike Peluso goes off for a roughing after Dave Lowry had bumped into him. Peluso with the left hand punches Lowry behind the head. And that's right in front of the officials, so the Blues will be back on the power play. At 35, the time of the penalty. Peluso has had both penalties called in this game. The Blues scored the power play goal when he was off in the first period. Ottawa shoots the puck the length of the ice, and the Blues will start out from behind their net. The Blues on the power play this season, successful 22% of the time. That's fifth best in the league. From center ice, Brown fakes a shot, works in on the right wing, but fakes Shanahan out. And Brendan goes in offside. As far as Ottawa is concerned, penalty killing, they are 22nd in the league. Yeah, that kind of goes back to the statistics we were talking about uh, at the beginning of the game where they're not scoring many goals, they're allowing a lot of goals, and when that happens, your specialty teams generally are not very good either, and that certainly is the case here both on their power play, which is last in the league, and their penalty killing is 22nd. It is Janney with Hall and Shanahan, Emerson and Brown, a neutral faceoff. Won by Lamb, the puck in the Ottawa zone. Hall plays it along the near boards and a pass to the far point for Brown, tipped out by Smale. Now pass to Emerson off his skate. Shaw gets the puck, gets it up to Lamb, and he'll send it into the St. Louis end with a minute 25 to go in this Blues power play. They lead it 2-1. to one. Emerson at his own end, up to Brett Hall over the red line, into the Ottawa zone. Nice behind the back pass to Janney, near circle in front for Emerson. And the puck knocked away by Berthiolm in the corner, Lowen, and he'll clear the puck out and down the ice. Ottawa killing the penalty with Boschman and Darcy Lowen. Now McIver steps on on defense with the goal scorer, Ken Hammond, up the middle of the rink. Brown to the blue line, out of the red line, winds up, shoots it in wide. Well, the boards are very dead here. Especially compared to Toronto last night. They may have the liveliest boards in the NHL in Toronto. Puck along the near boards. Lose power play. Left point to Brown. Not a hull. Cross right point to Emerson with a bouncing puck. Along the far boards to Janney. Straight away to Brown. Left side to Hall. And from the circle is shot. Stopped by Berthion. In the corner. McIver gets the puck. Can't get it out. Jeff Brown has it at the point. In deep to Shanahan through the slot. No one there for the Blues to get it. Now Janney right point to Emerson. Near side to Brown. Brown into the corner for Shanahan. 15 seconds to go on the man advantage in front to Hall. Now to Janney. Quick shot. Berthio makes a save. And there's no rebound. The Blues moving the puck around. And Janney there who had a goal last night and a goal in the first period bidding for his third in two nights. Well, Ken Hammond really made an outstanding play defense. Hall tries to set up Janney, and Hammond goes out there and goes down and actually blocks that. It ends up trickling in to Berthiome, but a good job by Hammond just releasing, going right out, going down, and he stopped the quick shot by Craig Janney. Now we'll get a faceoff deep in the Ottawa zone to Danielle Berthiome's left. Blues with 10 seconds to go in the power play. They have Hall still out there. Brett is at the left point. Ron Sutter will face off against Mark Land. Now ready for the draw. Blues are up two to one. And Lamb wins the faceoff. Shaw takes the puck into the corner. He's on defense with Marsh. Rich Sutter replaces Hull. Lamb weaves through center ice. 
He's stood up by Norwood, just has to dump it in. The penalty is over. The Blues lead it 2 1. Cantal around the far boards. Peluso intercepts to Lamb. Lamb into the corner, back for Peluso, and Cantal intercepts and clears the puck out. Bradshaw back in his own end. Over far side to Marsh. He'll flip it ahead. Rich Sutter knocks the puck down at the red line and bounces it in right on. And Berthiolm had a lot of trouble with that bouncer. Left point, Norwood keeps the puck in, clears it ahead. Shaw intercepts. Middle of the ice to Marsh. He gets to the red line. Keeps going. Into the blue zone. He'll fire the puck in and ends up behind the net. Here's Zombo. Bumped by Jody Hall. Marsh behind the net for Peluso. The pass eludes him. Comes to the near side. Here's Norwood into the middle of the ice to Ron Wilson, but he can't get around Chris Longo. He's checked by Zombo as he sends the puck in, and the Senators are changing. Norwood for the Blues, deep in his own end. Up to Wilson too far. Longo at center ice. Bothered by Bozon. Takes him to the boards. And Marsh gets the puck. Sends it high in the air. And it'll come down in the Blues bench and play a stop with the Blues leading it 2 1 here at the Civic Center in Ottawa. And we pause five seconds for station identification. This is St. Louis Blues hockey. Time tracks. Premiering January 20th at 7. And Rick Bonus picked a couple of good assistant coaches to help him with this team. And we talked about what the idea of this team is. And Rick Bonus mentioned it after the period about they're trying to go with the young kids and build this team. Not real concerned about winning this year. One familiar face, Elaine Vigno, who played for the Blues back in 80-81 and coached the Hull Junior team, which is right across the river here for five years, is one of the assistants here as is E.J. McGuire, who was in Chicago and Philadelphia with Mike Keenan for quite a few years. Ottawa takes the puck behind their net. Chris Longo on defense with Hammond. Terjac cannot accept the pass at center ice. Hedekin at the red line. Now to Wilson. Works over the line. Right wing. Korolev back to Wilson. Back to Korolev. Bad angle shot wide. Hedekin left point. Steps into one. And it hits the skate of Kadelski and the puck out to center ice. Zombo has to weave back to his own line. Up to Korolev. Mark Freer's all over him. And Hammond will move in on the near wing. The puck slips away. Zombo back with Hammond on his back. Puck goes behind the net. Terjan tries to center, unable to. Then Hedekin bothered. The puck comes in front. Kadelski tied up, and Ron Wilson starts out with Mackey and Korolev. Wilson over the line. Comes into the near corner in front of Mackey. Oh, and he's stopped by Berthiol. What a chance, and what a setup by Wilson and Mackey. Wilson on the far boards. Right point. Butcher steps into a shot right on, and a glove save by Ottawa. Netminder Danielle Berthiol. And that will stop play with the Blues up 2 1 here in the second period. Well, the Blues are going to have to start shooting the puck higher because Berthiol is going down on just about every shot. A good play by Wilson to Mackey, who tries to shoot it right through low on the ice. But again, Berthiol goes down on his knees, and everything above his shoulders is wide open. After that, Butcher with a long shot from the point, but no Blues player in front. So Berthiol was able to see the puck all the way. But he's going down on his knees, Ken, and that's leaving a lot of room up high. But the Blues are having trouble lifting that puck over over his pads and over the gloves. Two to one, the Blues lead it. Janney and Brown scored in the first period. Hammond has scored for Ottawa here in the second period. 5.22 to go in the period. And the faceoff near the Ottawa net. Kevin Miller against Mark Lamb. Miller on with Lowry and Hall. Brown and Butcher. the puck and the fans begin to chant drop it drop it pretty soon the announcers will begin I'm to ready chant. to chant <laughs> <laughs> well Siki behind the net for Ottawa he's on defense with McIver who's right out in front of the goal Lamb is centering Peluso and Hull the puck to Lamb he comes up the far wing to Peluso at center ice he'll shoot the puck in right on goal Joseph the save. Brown with a puck. Avoids a check from Peluso. Hall can't clear. Left point, McIver. Shot right on. A sliding save by Joseph. In front, Jody Hall shoots wide. Set up by Peluso. Puck still in the blue zone along the boards. Jody Hall ties up Lowry. Kicks the puck along the boards. Blues lead it 2-1, to one, and they hold the puck to stop play with 4.42 to go here in the period. Well, the Blues had a chance to clear it. Brett Hall had control of the puck at the top of his own circle, and he just threw it to the point. Donnie had
had enough on it, but the defenseman stayed in. There was no other Blues player there, and McIver got the long shot, and then Ottawa came back and continued to put pressure on. Peluso with the big, or big miss, really, on Jeff Brown, who gave the puck to Hull, and Hull just kind of threw it back to the point, and McIver walked into it, got the good shot on goal, and Peluso was there for the rebound. Blues up 2-1, face off in the St. Louis end. Cantal has it behind the net. Emerson gets hit as he takes the puck up to Janney at center ice. Now to Norwood, he'll flip it in. And Marsh is back for it. Marsh is on with Shaw. Shoots it down the ice. It'll go the length of the ice. But the first man there is Jamie Baker. He can't control. Norwood clears it up the boards for Emerson. He loses it. Boschman centers. And here's Shanahan. This is Janney, Shanahan, and Emerson. Puck to center ice. Emerson over the line to Janney. A drop pass. Emerson a blast off Marsh wide. 4.05 to go. Second period. Puck still in the Ottawa zone. Shanahan along the near board, smothered by Marsh. And the puck comes to Smale. He set up the only Ottawa goal. Smale to the St. Louis line, stops, waits. A pass hits Norwood, gets it ahead for Baker. Baker behind the net to Boschman. Boschman to Baker, back to Shaw. He can't control a bouncing puck, and from center ice drives it back in. Zombo takes over. Both teams are trying to change here. The Blues lead it 2-1. to one. A pass for Bozon broken up by Kadelski. Freer can't handle the puck, and Ron Sutter shoots it in for St. Louis. Back forward is Shaw. On with Marsh, Freer, Turgeon, and Kadelski. And the Senators come to center ice. The puck hops away. Hedekin gets it ahead for Rich Sutter. He can't work in. And back the other way, Sylvain Turgeon up the left wing. Drops the puck. For Freer, long shot. It's caught by Joseph. He leaves the rebound for Ron Sutter. He has trouble. He's checked in his own end by Kadelski, who gives the puck to Turgeon. He can't muscle his way around Zombo. Hedekin takes out Freer. And up with a puck is Bozon. Philippe gets it ahead to Rich Sutter. He's at the red line. Goes around Hammond. Tries to work in the playoff side. And the Senators clear it out. Here's Hedekin at the red line to Bozon. 2.50 to go. Second period. Bozon over the line. Flips the puck wide of the net. And the Blues are changing. Long go for Ottawa. Turgeon at center ice for Freer. Broken up. And Wilson flips the puck in. Hammond back for it. The Blues have a 2-1 lead here at the Civic Center in Ottawa. This is Ken Hammond who scored the Senators goal. Long pass off Butcher. He'll shoot it back in from the red line. After it is Brett Hall. He's knocked down by Longo. Then Ron Wilson there. He's checked by Freer. Then Hall gets the puck out to the right point. The pass for Butcher intercepted. Turgeon breaks away. Brown will come back. A pass for Kadelski. Can't get a shot on goal. Oh, Kadelski chops down Jeff Brown. Kadelski with a puck near circle. A shot, and that goes wide. Here's Hammond far side. Behind the net to Lamb. The Senators are dangerous, and the Blues gain possession. Butcher up for Coral if he can't get out. Beluso sends the puck behind the net. Jeff Brown gets it around the boards, out to center ice. He shoots it. Hammond backs up to his own line. Ahead for Jody Hall, and too far for Lamb. And Butcher takes over. He's at center ice. He takes quite a hit from Jody Hall, and the pass gets away. And here's Mark Lamb. At center ice, and a crowd just flips the puck in, and Butcher has it. And he'll clear it off the glass the length of the ice. The Blues lead it 2-1. Under a minute and a half to go in the second period. An icing call against the Blues. This is St. Louis Blues hockey. 124 remaining in this second period. The Blues leading the Ottawa Senators by the score of 2-1. An important faceoff to the left of Curtis Joseph. Janney against Boschman, who wins the faceoff. Shaw kicks the puck back to McIver. He works it along the boards and is bumped down by Norwood. And a shot by Shaw right on rebound. Baker, another save by Joseph. Back the other way. Emerson leads the attack through center ice. Over the line, a slap shot right on. Waist high, caught by Berthiolm. And he'll hold it to stop play with a minute seven remaining. Boy, what a save by Curtis Joseph. Bossman won the faceoff in the blue zone, and the long shot will come from the point. Joseph made the first save and then had to slide over and make another save on Jamie Baker, and the Blues were able to break out the other way. Two big saves for Joseph to keep this game for the Blues up by a goal. Boy, he hasn't... Uh, he seems like that knee is, uh, is doing just fine, doesn't it? Yeah, he seems quite sharp, doesn't he? 
2 1 Blues lead it now down to a minute remaining second period Senators Shaw cross ice pass Boschman tips the puck in Norwood after it in the corner he's knocked down by Lamb they both end up on the ice and the puck is smothered to stop play fans Metro lighting carries the largest selection of high quality lighting fixtures ceiling fans and home products in the entire St. Louis area we suggest you stop in at any of the six Metro lighting locations now one of the big additions to this Ottawa team came in the waiver draft after the the season was just getting ready to get going they acquired Norm McIver from the Edmonton Oilers now here's a guy that the coach of the Edmonton team Ted Green says is the reason why Dave Manson turned into such a good hockey player in fact Norm McIver was named the most valuable defenseman on the Edmonton Oilers hockey team last year and he along with a few other players had some contract problems they put him on waivers so he was picked up for nothing by the Ottawa Senators now they puck in the blue zone from the draw Blues try to work it out. Finally, Bozon slaps it to the red line. Shaw tries to shoot it in the first time. Now will carry it in over the line. He's at the right point. Flips the puck towards it. And tipped by Peluso. He hits the post. Rebound smothered at the side of the net. And Mike Peluso, oh, came so very, very, very close to picking up his 11th goal of the season. Well, they're putting a lot of pressure on here in the last minute and a half of this period. Brad Shaw, who also handles the puck well, he's got his head up all the way. He's looking at the front of the net. Peluso goes through there, and Shaw just feathers that pass right through to the front of the net, and Peluso tipped it off the post, and then Joseph was able to cover up. But Ottawa trying desperately to tie this game in the last minute of the second period. The family of Budweiser beers is proud of all the friendships that they have helped make over these many years. So when they remind you to know when to say when, it is all in the name of friendship. 32 seconds remaining in the second period. The face off to Joseph's left and a false start and they will drop the puck again. The Blues tonight, of course, without Bob Basson, Vitaly Prokhorov, and Kelly Chase all out with injuries. Vitaly Karamnov is not dressed, nor are Kurt Giles and Murray Barron for this one. Other face-off, and the puck controlled by Hedekin. He circles his net, has good velocity, skates to center ice, now to the red line. Cuts to the near side, will just flip the puck ahead, and he can't even get it over the line. Now it's out in the center circle. Zombo flips it high into the far corner. 15 seconds to go in the period. The Blues lead it 2-1. Here's Shaw, near corner to McIver. He avoids most of a Ron Sutter check. Now Rich Sutter with a puck. Now Ron Sutter with it. Rich Sutter in the corner. And time's going to run out here in the second period. The only goal in the period at the seven-minute mark. Ken Hammond scored it, his second of the season from Smale and Shaw. Janney and Brown had scored in the first period for the St. Louis Blues. And after 40 minutes here at the Civic Center in Ottawa, the Blues lead the Ottawa Senators 2-1. Coming up during the intermission, Bruce Affleck's guest will be Blues All-Star defenseman Jeff Brown. This is St. Louis Blues Hockey. For those of you with us on TV, I'll tell you, half the light bulbs are out. <laughs> this baby, well, this I think this was a used scoreboard when they brought it in here when they opened the building in 1967. <laughs> They brought that in from Hibbing, Minnesota. That looks like the one that uh, used to be in the building I played at when I was when I was when I was growing up. But they figure, hey, we're gonna have a new building in a couple of years. Why why spend money on the light bulbs? They hope they have a new building in a few years. It's supposed to be a real nice uh, facility out in the suburbs here, the Palladium, but it is a long way from having a completion date. Third period begins. The Blues have the puck. Both teams are at full strength. Ottawa shoots the puck in, a delayed offside, and then as Brown is tied up by Lowen, the offside is called against the Senators. Now, Ken, speaking of money, we talk about the new building. That hasn't been finalized as of yet. They're hoping to do that sometime this month, and of course, it'll take a couple of years to, to build and, and get going. But this team and the owners of this team, when it came time for the draft, the owners of this team told all the hockey personnel, you 
you've got four million dollars not only to build this team here but to build your minor league team which is in New Haven Connecticut four million bucks and you wonder why maybe they're not quite as competitive as the Tampa Bay team they just anyone that was going to make uh, any amount of money at all they just passed on. Of course, sir, most of the teams in the NHL now have a payroll of over ten million dollars. So four million for your minor league team too. Not much. Blue shoot the puck in. Peluso behind his net to McIver. Up the middle. At center ice. Brady. He didn't play much in the second period. Neil Brady stops in the corner, goes to center. He gets a lot of space, leaves the puck. Peluso carries behind the net. Butcher steps into him. And Lowen is there along with Ron Sutter who knocks the puck loose up the wing. Bozon takes his man out. And Brown breaks the center ice. Two on one with Rich Sutter. Back to Brown. Over the line. In front. Rich Sutter. Unable to get his stick on the puck. He was in alone. Back the other way. Brady up the near board. Stopped by Janney. And Rich Sutter slides the puck back into the Ottawa. End. Both teams change here. Just over a minute gone. In the third period, the Blues lead it 2-1. Brad Shaw out to center ice, shy of the red line, shoots it in. It's tipped at the St. Louis blue line in the corner. Hennigan off the boards, puck knocked away, slides right to Joseph. He scoops it up with his trapper to stop play. And Well, there's no question. I said a couple of times when we began here tonight in Ottawa, this is a scary game. At least that's how I view it. And when you're holding a 2-1 lead early in the third period against a club like the Senators with only four victories, I think you should be scared. Well, you have to look at uh, this game right now and say that Ottawa is in pretty good position right now. They're doing everything they can to win a game. And as we talked before, the Blues had in that first period a couple of goals. Janney uh, with a goal and assist, but they need some of their better players again. They've got to step up in this third period. Face off controlled by the Blues in their own end. Hedekin is on with Zombo, Janney, Shanahan, and Emerson. Hedekin up to Janney, up the middle of the ice, gets to the line, then the Blues are offside at the Ottawa blue line. Well, Bob Berry, as you mentioned, was quite unhappy after last night's game. You know, being a head coach is uh, not an easy job. There's a lot to contend with, and uh, I think he's handled it very well, and I think getting back as a head coach was a question to him. Uh, if he really wanted to take the stress and how he would handle it, I think he's done uh, overall a real good job. Yeah, I think he's done an excellent job because there was uh, a lot has happened in the last eight months with this hockey team, three different coaches, but he's done a good job. Hammond to Smale over the line. Quick shot and a pad save by Joseph. And he'll hold on. You know, Doug Smale reminds me a little bit of Ron Wilson. They were teammates for years in Winnipeg, small guys in their mid-30s who can still skate. Yeah, they can really skate. He takes a pass here. He's 35 years old. He just bl blasts down the wing and lets go a shot from the top of the circle. Curtis Joseph had to make a good pad save on and lost the puck momentarily and was able to find it and then hold on. But a good pad save by Curtis Joseph on the shot by Doug Smale. The Blues uh, will conclude this road trip Saturday night in Tampa. There haven't been many times when I've gone from eight or nine inches of snow to Florida. <laughs> We're going to do that have. tomorrow. <laughs> from Ottawa, Canada to Tampa, Florida in one day. What a move, huh? Face off one by Freer. Left point, McIver. He's checked. Shoots the puck behind the net. Joseph out of the crease. Leaves it for Norwood, who clears it up the near boards to Rich Sutter. He tries to get it out, finally does. Then he's hit by Freer. And Bozon shoots the puck in just wide of the Ottawa goal. Left for Osiki, but Ron Sutter gets in the way. They go after the puck. It's centered to Hall. He can't make a play. And Terzhao works out to Kadelski. Left wing to Mark Freer. He hasn't scored at home all year. And he tries to cut in, and he's ridden out by Cantal. Freer without a goal here has had six on the road. Lowry back the other way. Far left wing to Miller. Hull trails him over the line. A drop pass to Hull. Then he's poke checked by McIver. Miller slaps the puck behind the net. Lowry there trying to center. He is taken down the puck in front to Hull. He shoots. And it goes off McIver's stick over the net. Butcher pinches in. Flips the puck behind the goal. Osiki takes a ride to the boards provided by Lowry. Kudelski feeds ahead. And at center ice, here's little Norm McIver. Back to Kudelski over the line. He's checked. And Butcher clears to center ice, and Mark Lamb has the puck at his own line for Ottawa. Now to Jody Hall. He works in as the two teams change, and he whistles a shot just wide. Here's Peluso into the corner. Bumped by Butcher. 
Jody Hall with a puck, leaves it in the corner for Lamb. Butcher runs into Miller. It's centered for Peluso, tipped away. Lowry with a puck, backhands it to center ice. Here's Brad Marsh for Ottawa, shooting the puck back in, and it's offside. Ottawa, they trail the Blues 2-1 in the third period. This is St. Louis Blues. 2-1, Blues lead Ottawa. Ken Wilson, Joe Micheletti, and Bruce Affleck at the Ottawa Civic Center, and the Blues work to center ice. Ron Wilson bounds the puck in. Berthium knocks it down for Hammond. He's on with Longo. The puck cleared up the near boards for Lowen. Into the middle. Tipped ahead by Brady. Then it's wrestled away. And here's Zombo on his backhand. Shooting the puck in. It'll go behind the Ottawa net. Hammond is there. He has the Senators goal up to Lowen. Long pass at center ice. Too far for Jelinek. Blues have it. Zombo clears it ahead. And it'll go right to Berthium. This is Chris Longo. Clearing to center ice. Hedekin at the red line. A pass for Wilson tipped away. Then Wilson chops it back to Zombo. He gets the puck ahead to Korolev. He can't get around Hammond, who plays the puck to Longo in his own end. Pass deflected at center ice. Control now in the center circle. He charges in. Over the line. Shoots it into the corner. Banks behind the net. Berth Jones sweeps it up the far boards. Tomas Jelinek hasn't played since a couple of shifts early in the first period. It's 2-1. to one. The Blues lead it in the third. 4-15 gone here in Ottawa. Now Hammond over the line to Brady. Right wing in front for Brady on a return feed. And his ticket attempt stopped by Joseph. A shot by Marsh to fuck it away. Baker can't move in. And Wilson takes over his pass for Korolev. Intercepted by Smale. Feeding to the far side. Here's Baker trying to center. The puck goes to Smale. He looks for Marsh. Korolev, nice job staying with him. And Cantal will clear the puck out. Teams will change players. Brad Shaw on his own end. Pass up to Marsh at the red line. Not a smell with Boschman over the line. Drop pass for Boschman. Far circle. Butcher drops to block the shot. And Emerson clears the front of the net. A feed up to Janney. Up the right wing. Into the Ottawa end. Janney cuts to the middle. Far circle to Emerson. And he doesn't get all of it. One timing the shot high and wide. Senators clear to center ice. Brown at his own line. Far wing to Emerson. Now on the near wing to Janney. Cutting in to the dot. In front, Shanahan a shot blocked by Shaw. Shanahan tries to center, can't. Janney does. Emerson turns away from the net. He's at the far down. A drive hits the post. He hit the outside of the post. Shaw and Shanahan fight for the puck along the far boards in the center's end. Boschman there also. Now Baker, number 13 with it. Gets it out to Marsh. The veteran to the red line. He'll shoot the puck in off Butcher's skate right to Joseph. And with Smale there, Curtis holds the puck to stop play with 14, 21 remaining in the third period, and the Blues clinging to a 2-1 lead. And a couple of good chances by the Blues, putting some pressure on in Ottawa's zone. Nelson Emerson just circling around, gets to the dot, and decides to take a quick wrist shot. He had Berthium beat to the short side. That puck just glanced off the right post and back out. But good pressure by the Blues. Four checking. They controlled the puck. They moved it. They were taking the shots. Shanahan had a couple of chances as well. And Berthium was able to keep the puck out of his net. You mentioned Ottawa has won only four games all season. They are yet to beat a Norris Division team. They've played eight games against Norris Division teams. Lost all eight of them. Kodelski in the blue zone. Side of the net. A shot. Stopped by Joseph. Hedekin takes the rebound behind the goal. Hedekin Zombo. The two Sutters and Bozon. A pass at center ice tipped away. McIver in his own end for the Senators. Up to Turgeon at the blue line. Into the neutral zone to Kodelski. He sees some skating room up the near left wing. Gets to the red line and risks the puck in. Joseph can't stop it behind the net. Freer lets it go to the right point. Osiki a shot. That's blocked. And the puck will carry all the way back into the Ottawa end. Blues are changing on the fly. All out there now. With Kevin Miller and Lowry. Lowry intercepts in the slot to Miller and he fans. Beluso tries to clear camp. Cantal shoots the puck behind the net for Lowry into the far corner. He attempts to center and the puck tipped away. Here's McIver in a crowd. Beats far corner. Osiki ahead to Kadelski. He clears the puck out. Now ahead to Peluso and the puck into the Blues end. Off Peluso's skate. Now Ottawa is changing. Stefan Cantal up the far wing to Lowry. He looks for Miller and Hall. Works to the red line. Takes a hit from Jody Hall. Loses the puck. Trips Jody Hall. And Peluso carries in. Leading the attack. Left point. Hammond. Wrist shot right on. 
making the save, but the net comes loose behind Curtis Joseph and play stopped two seconds short of the seven-minute mark in the third period. St. Louis Blues Hockey is brought to you by the Discover Card. It pays to discover the card that pays you back. 2-1, the Blues lead Ottawa. Face off in the blue zone, back to the right point. Pass behind the net, wraparound attempt by Kadelski. Stop, and there'll be a penalty in front. Ron Sutter doing some clutching and grabbing. He got a hold of Mark Freer, I believe. And Ron Sutter will go off. It is only the third penalty of the game, and the first against the Blues. And that happened right after the faceoff. Ottawa was able to shoot the puck around the net. And Ron Sutter is coming back from the faceoff circle. He's tangled up with Freer. And referee Paul Dvorsky calls Ron Sutter. And Ottawa will be on the power play. Sutter coming back in front. He's tied up with Freer. He's trying to lift his hands up to signal to Dvorsky that he's not holding on, but Dvorsky had his hand up first. 7.05, the time of the holding penalty. Ottawa has the poorest power play in the league. They're successful about 13% of the time. The Blues kill off penalties 82% of the time. They have the eighth finest penalty killing in the league. Buck into the corner. Brown clears it up the boards by Shaw. He trips Kevin Miller. Loose puck into the Ottawa zone. Wilson beaten to it by McIver. Up to Brad Shaw. Now right wing to Turgeon over the line. Stops along the far boards. So they Turgeon leaves the puck and Brown clears it to center ice. To Ron Wilson. Rich Sutter up on the right wing. Takes a pass. Takes a shot. He scores! A short hand. Short-handed goal, take the lead, three to one. Well, two great plays on that goal by Sutter, right inside the Blues blue line. Jeff Brown makes a good play, intercepting the puck and then just clearing it off the boards. It took a funny hop off the glass, and then Ron Wilson is able to control that, feed a perfect pass over to Rich Sutter, who beats Berthiome through through the legs for a 3-1 lead. Good job by Ron Wilson waiting for Sutter to come in. And then a perfect pass. Sutter with a good shot right along the ice. And the Blues with a shorthanded goal now lead this game 3-1. Seventh of the season for Rich Sutter at 732. And Danielle Berthume seemed to be caught moving, kind of caught in between. And, and Rich Sutter had just settled the puck down and really did a great job, as Joe described. And now the Blues with a little breathing room. But keep in mind, they're still shorthanded for a minute 25. McIver in his own end for the Senators. Near side to Shaw, still in his own territory. Now up the near boards. Baker is checked, but moving in. Jody Hall, Freer goes in front of the net. Jody Hall back to the blue line to Shaw. Right boards to McIver, back to Shaw. He's straight away from the net, shoots. The puck hits a body and is knocked wide into the corner by Brown. Ottawa keeps possession. Shaw at the far right point. In the slot is Baker, straight away to Shaw. And the pass shot knocked away, and the puck cleared out of play by Jeff Brown, and play stopped with 11.48 remaining. That goal, the shorthanded goal, Rich Sutter, his seventh from Ron Wilson at 7.32. Only four victories all year for Rick Bonus and the Senators. Well, they started off on the, on the right foot, their home opener and season opener. Right here, they defeated Montreal 5-3 with an empty net goal, and then New Jersey, Philadelphia, and San Jose were also games in which the Ottawa Senators won. Yeah, they win uh, one a month. So I guess they can't win tonight. They have to wait till February for their next victory. Good. Blues lead it. 3-1. They're shorthanded for another 50 seconds. Out at center ice. Ottawa with a puck. Worked in by Shaw. He dumps it into the corner. Zombo back for it. He takes a bump. And he and Freer grapple for the punt. Baker plays it. Left point to Shaw. Back to Baker. Top of the near circle. Drop pass to Shaw. Wrist shot right on the save. Joseph, a great job with a rebound to clear it away. Now McIver along the far boards. In front to Freer. To Baker, a shot. The save. Baker now into the corner. For Jody Hall, left point to Shaw. Across the way to McIver at the right point. Back to Shaw. One-timer wide. 
McIver moves in along the far boards, holds the puck, keeps it in as he's dumped by Lowry. Straight away to Shaw, near left circle to Hall. Back to Shaw, far side to McIver. Now to Shaw, he'll shoot right on. And Joseph that time had a pretty clear avenue to see the shot coming and is able to make the save and hold on to stop play with only three seconds remaining in Ron Sutter's penalty. Well, Brad Shaw was a couple of shots from the point. What a job by Curtis Joseph. You mentioned him seeing that last one, but a few others prior to that, Ken, he really had to get down and look for that puck as Ottawa controlled the puck well. They moved the puck around. They tried to take a lot of shots from the blue line and sent players out in front, and Joseph was able to make the save and clear the rebounds. He was all over making some, some terrific saves. Janney, Brown, and Rich, or, uh, yeah, Rich Sutter have scored for the Blues. Hammond has the only goal for Ottawa. Almost 11 minutes to go in the third period. The penalty is over. The puck in the blue zone. It's centered. Peluso, great chance in front to Kandelski. And he is stopped going across the front of the crease by Joseph. Peluso can't get his shot away. Wilson clears the puck too far for Miller. At center ice, Hammond shoots the puck back in. Ottawa looks at the moment like they're a long way from being finished. Blues clear the puck out. Here's Hammond backing to his own blue line. Near wing to Peluso. He can't control, and now Kintal backhands the puck in. They say that Ottawa could have played it, and the Blues are changing on the go. Ottawa ready to change. Longo's pass gets by Lamb. The Blues will skate back for the puck in their own end. That allows the hometown Senators to make a player change. The Blues are up 3-1. Long pass to Janney up the near wing into the Ottawa zone. He can't get around Marsh. The puck goes behind the net. Marsh kicks it. It goes off Emerson. Now out to center ice. Jelinek to Smale. They work into Jelinek. He takes a shot. Boy, he had a lot on that. And it was right on and a good save. And Jelinek took quite a ride in from Butcher. Then he cross-checks Butcher, slashes him behind the net. Butcher still with a puck. Jelinek goes down. And the puck deep in the blue zone. Played around near boards for Emerson. Then Butcher is upended in front of the net behind the play by Jelinek. Janney over the line and a feed from Brown. Drop pass to Shanahan. Poke check by Smale ahead to Jelinek. The 30-year-old rookie from Czechoslovakia, though he's not officially a rookie, it's his first NHL season, gives the puck to Shaw on his backhand shot, caught and held by Joseph. The Blues lead the Senators 3-1. to one. This is St. Louis Blues hockey. Well, right off the faceoff, Ottawa had a chance as the Blues tried to clear it. Peluso ends up with the puck, and a good job by Norwood forcing the pass from Peluso, and it was a hard pass that Kodelsky had trouble with, or he would have been in all alone, but Norwood made a good play forcing that pass, forcing Peluso to make a good play. The faceoff near Joseph, the two Sutters and Bozon, Zombo and Hedekin. Ron Sutter wins the faceoff. Hedekin to center ice, a pass to Rich Sutter, batted away. But Bozon picks the puck up and backhands it in. Now the Blues are going to change. They'll send out Lowry, Miller, and Hull. Now the Blues come back in their own end. The puck shot in by Ottawa. By Osiki, played behind the net by Hedekin, near side to Hull. Long pass, gets through Lowry in the far wing. And Osiki leaves the puck for Sylvain Terja. He gets it to Jody Hall over the line. Jody Hall bothered by Zombo. Then Terja is checked by Kevin Miller. And Zombo clears the puck out. Here's Norm McIver in the neutral zone. At his own blue line over to Brad Shaw. Shaw backs into his own territory. Now gets it ahead at the red line to Terja to Jamie Baker over the line with Kadelski. Baker can't get around Zombo. And here's Hedekin with a puck. The Blues' young defenseman works up the near wing, gets high stick by Baker, and then shoots the puck in. Lowry goes after it, touches it, and then it's touched by Shaw, and we'll have a penalty called against the Ottawa Senators, who trail the Blues 3-1 here at the Civic Center in Ottawa. Oh, Baker got his stick up on Brett Hedekin. He really got him with a pretty good chop as Hedekin was trying to carry the puck out from his own zone right along the boards in front of the Blues bench. He had the puck and he ends up cutting to his left. And Baker is 13 and boy, he really chops him. He tried to chop him across the arm. He got him in the arm first and then his stick with the forward momentum continued up and ended up catching him high either along the left part of the face or the left ear. So Baker goes off two minutes 
And the Blues will be on the power play with 8.23 to go in regulation time. And the Blues leading 3-1. The Blues are one for two on the power play tonight. The Blues trying to make it five wins in their last six games. And trying to head to Tampa Saturday night with only two losses in their last nine. The Blues playing some very good hockey, some of their best hockey of the season right now. And of course, trying to catch up with Toronto. Toronto is idle tonight. The Blues with a couple of points could move back to within five of the fourth place Maple Leafs. Meanwhile, in Chicago, the Blackhawks in the second period lead Minnesota two to nothing. The only other Norris Division teams in action. Ottawa on their own end. They clear the puck the length of the ice. As they're shorthanded. Brown back plays the puck behind the net near corner to Emerson. They're the point men. Hall, Janney, and Shanahan up front. Here's Emerson to his line, out of the red line, into the Ottawa zone, tries to get around Hammond, can't. And when you try to do it alone sometimes, it doesn't work, and Smale shoots the puck the length of the ice. Now it is Hall, Boschman, Hammond, and Shaw killing the penalty in front of Danielle Berthune. Puck to Shanahan, far boards. He sends it behind the Ottawa net. Hammond backboard around the near side to Boschman. He can't clear it out. Shanahan keeps it in. Shanahan works towards the goal. Still has the puck. Near circle to Janney. Right point to Emerson. Left point to Brown. Ahead, far boards to Hull. Into the corner to Shanahan. Back to Hull. Now to Shanahan in the far circle. Hall backs in towards the side of the net. Shanahan in front. Blisters one wide. Right point. The puck comes out to Emerson. Far point to Brown, left circle to Shanahan in the slot for Janney in front. Hall all alone. He shoots and scores. The Blues captain, Brett Hall, scores a power play goal. And it is 4 1 as Hall picks up his team leading 28th goal of the season. And what a play by Janney on the play as Shanahan is going to end up trying to get the puck high in the slot to Craig Janney. Good puck movement by the Blues as Hall now is near the front of the net. Janney is off to the side, but Shanahan tries to feather it through. It was deflected by the Ottawa player, and Janney spun around on his backhand with his back to Hull and is able to get the puck to the front of the net, knowing Hull would be there. What a play by Janney. Hull with a quick shot. Berthiome goes down, and that puck just underneath the right arm of Daniel Berthiome. And the Blues now with a comfortable 4 1 lead. The Blues with two goals on the power play, one short handed goal, and an even strength goal. And there's seven. Oh, nine to go. This goal at 12 51. Hall from Shanahan and Janney. So Janney has a goal and two assists tonight. Leading the Blues. Puck in the Ottawa zone. Two Sutters and Bozon. They get the puck. Bozon in the corner. Right point to Cantal. Back behind the net to Ron Sutter. He centers. And the puck tipped away, but kept in by the Blues. Cantal. He'll shoot it off the far boards. Behind the net, Bozon. He leaves it for Ron Sutter. Looking in front for Rich. He tips it to Cantal. Here's a screenshot. It might have hit Ron Sutter. He's down and hurt. That shot from Cantal. I believe Ron Sutter trying to come in front. Probably didn't see the puck. And Cantal's drive, and we know Cantal can really shoot, hit Ron Sutter. Yeah, Ron Sutter didn't see anything as he was being cross-checked from behind on that long shot. Well, maybe, you know, looking at a replay, maybe it didn't hit him. No, I don't maybe think he just did. got cross-checked from behind. I think he might have just got cross-checked from behind by Osiki. Now, before Kintal was shooting, Sutter was already on his way down as Osiki really gave a cross-check. And the puck, I think, actually ended up hitting the goaltender, Danielle Berthiome, as it got past everyone. But Ron Sutter really taken down hard by that cross-check, and he doesn't feel very good right now. He went slowly to the Blues bench. Yeah, he's struggling, and Mark Osiki, the 24-year-old out of the University of Wisconsin, picks up a two-minute penalty, cross-checking, and the Blues will have another power play. Blues, as we mentioned, with two power play goals on three power plays. They set it up in the Ottawa end. Right point, Emerson along the near boards to Janney. Back to Emerson. Brown moves in. Here's a shot saved by Berthume, and the rebound controlled by Shaw and cleared the length of the ice. 6-20 remaining in the third period, and the Blues lead the Ottawa Senators 4-1. Emerson in his own end. Near boards to Brown. Back to Emerson. He'll carry up the middle of the ice. 
Now left wing to Hall into the Ottawa zone. He shoots it behind the net. Berthume sweeps it to the corner to Hammond. Up the far board. Freer doesn't see the puck. Emerson keeps it into Shanahan. Side of the net to Hall. Back to the blue line to Brown. A shot that hits Smale. Now into the corner for Janney. Brown falls down. Straight away out to the blue line to Emerson. Right point to Brown in the corner to Janney. Now Brown moves to the left point. A pass back near point to Emerson. He can't control the puck. And the Blues and Senators change players. There's a minute to go in this St. Louis man advantage. The Blues are up 4-1 here late in the third period. Brown to Korolev. Korolev in his own end. Now turns up ice to the red line. Left wing to Kevin Miller. Drop pass to Korolev. Looking. Miller side of the net in front off for a stick to Freer. And he clears the puck ahead for Jody Hall. Ottawa shorthanded. Two on one. Hall a shot. And Jody Hall's shot is stopped by Joseph as he closes the pads there on Jody Hall's bid for a shorthanded goal. Well, Ottawa came back two on one. Jody Hall is on his offside, a right-handed shot going down the left-hand boards, so he's got a better angle to shoot. He tries to beat Joseph through the legs. Now, Curtis Joseph made the save. He felt the puck, but he wasn't sure if the puck got through him or not as he reached behind with his catching hand to make sure that that puck wouldn't score through. He had it all the way, didn't he, Ken? No question about it. <laughs> He's played well tonight. Boy, he's come back after that layoff and after that minor knee problem. And he has looked extremely sharp. Wasn't tested much in the first period, but in the second period, made a, a lot of point blank saves, especially at the end of that second period when Ottawa was trying to come back and tie the game. 31 seconds to go on the Blues power play. Janney, Brown, Rich Sutter, and Hall have scored for the Blues. Hammond has the only goal tonight for Ottawa. Well, fans, a great way to reward yourself after the game is with the fresh, pure, natural taste of an ice-cold Budweiser. Nothing beats a Bud. Don't forget, we'll see you at the arena next Tuesday night. What a big game that'll be with the fourth-place Toronto Maple Leafs, assuming they're still in fourth place. Next Tuesday night, some seats available at the arena. Bugles Kazoo Night. Everyone in attendance will receive a Blues Kazoo. Compliments of Bugles next Tuesday night. Blues shoot the puck into the Ottawa end. Mars clears it out and it goes and hits a player on the Ottawa bench. That's why they whistle the action dead. Let's pause here five seconds for station identification. This is St. Louis Blues Hockey. Time tracks. Premiering January 20th at 7. Well, you can certainly understand the frustration that Rick Bonus and his coaching staff must be going through because this team has, has worked pretty hard. They put in a pretty good effort, but you look up and down that lineup, and boy, there are a lot of guys that have played in the minor leagues before, just not very many offensive players at all. And, and uh, if you get any type of goaltending at all, it just gets very frustrating. Up the right wing, Darcy Lowen trying to work in, can't get around Kintal, then he high sticks Norwood. Has the puck in the corner, leaves it behind the net. Norwood and Marsh after it. Korolev comes in, sweeps it away, carries in his own end. Now up to Kintal. He gets to the red line, shoots it in wide of the net. Takes a big hop off the end boards over the side glass. And out of play, and the action is stopped with Ottawa back at full strength. And 4.32 to go in the third period, and the Blues are up by three. And I would say that Bob Barry feels a little bit more comfortable at this juncture in the game and look for a while there things were things were pretty tight the Blues with a great first period out shooting Ottawa 10 to 5 in the first period and coming away with that 2 nothing lead they looked to have things in, in pretty much uh, in hand and controlling the game but Ottawa came back and scored at the seven minute mark of the second period it was pretty interesting for about the next 20 minutes or so before the Blues broke things open with the shorthanded goal. 425 left in the third period. The Senators in their own end. Shaw carries it to center ice. Peluso whacks it in. Hedekin has it. He gets checked by Freer. They both go down. Jody Hall gets the puck, goes behind the net, centers it. Ron Wilson intercepts and clears the puck out. A race. Mackey and Shaw. Shaw has position. Mackey knocks him down. There'll be a penalty. A penalty called against Dave Mackey with 4.04 to go in the third. The Blues leading the Senators 4-1.
This is St. Louis Blues hockey. With 4.04 to go in this third period, the Blues leading 4-1. to one. The Ottawa Senators will get a power play as David Mackey pulls down Shaw from behind, and that puts Ottawa on the power play. Ottawa tonight on the power play is 0 for 1. The puck shot into the Senators' end, and here is Brad Shaw. In his eighth NHL season to Kudelski, left wing to Lamb, cruising in, forced into the corner. Behind the net, far side for Jelinek. Right point to McIver. Shaw's at the left point. McIver moves in along the far boards, backs off a bit. Side of the net to Lamb, in front. The puck tipped away, comes out to the near point. Shaw keeps it in, works along the boards, falls down, gets up. Deep to Lamb. Lamb works behind the Blues net, sends the puck far boards to Jelinek. Jelinek works out near the right point, stops, fakes a shot, passes to Shaw at the near point. Blues lead 4-1. Shaw a shot, knocked down in front, cleared to the corner by Butcher. Lamb digs the puck out, plays it to McIver. Then Brown intercepts an outlet pass to Miller up the right wing against Shaw. He can't work around Brad Shaw. There are three minutes to go in the third period here at the Civic Center in Ottawa. The Blues are shorthanded. They lead the Senators 4-1. Hammond shoots the puck in. Racing after it, Lamb. Norwood gets to it first, and he smashes it the length of the ice. 43 seconds to go, and Dave Mackey's penalty. Ottawa is changing. The Blues killing the penalty with Norwood, Kintal, Rich Sutter, and Dave Lowry. Peluso brings the puck to center ice. The big guy over the line. In front, Freer backhand shot. Joseph the save on Mark Freer. Norwood goes down. The puck held against the end boards. Deep in the St. Louis end, and play stopped with 24 seconds to go in the Dave Mackey penalty and 2.28 to go in the third period. Let's check that Budweiser out of town scoreboard. Pittsburgh struggling, and you can understand why. Being shut out in the third, 5 0 by Boston. Montreal has a 3 2 lead at Quebec in the third. The Caps lead the Islanders in New York, 3 0 in the third. New Jersey rolling over the Kings in the third, 7 1 at the Meadowlands. Calgary has really struggled lately. They lead 4 3 at the Spectrum in the third. The Blackhawks have a 2 0 lead at home in the third period over the North Stars. And the North Stars having. Uh, you know, not a real good stretch, and they lead fourth place Toronto now by only one point. Face off in the St. Louis end, back to the right point to Hammond. He works into the corner. Still a power play for Ottawa. Straight away to Longo now. Far side to Hammond. Far dot in front for Jody Hall, and he can't get a piece of the pass. Rod Sutter works out to the red line. He'll shoot the puck in. The Blues make a change or two. Dave Mackey ready to come back on. Mike Peluso in his own end. Has a pass. Tipped away at center ice. Jody Hall will circle back in his own zone. Now to a minute 55 to go. Ottawa shoots the puck in. Hedekin shoots it out. Played ahead to Jody Hall. He can't control. Now Peluso works in. And he can't get around Zombo who flips the puck to the boards. Jody Hall shoots it behind the net to Freer, but Zombo intercepts. Hedekin shoots it around the boards. Shanahan ties up Longo, and the puck slides back into the Ottawa end. Now to a minute 30 remaining. 4-1 Blues. Longo ahead, left wing to Lowen, trying to work in on Butcher. Centers, and the puck knocked away to center ice by Brown. Janney and Emerson after it. Marsh is back. Dive. Sweeps the puck away. Shanahan gets it. Emerson's in front. Shanahan a shot blocked by Marsh. He's tuned up, ready to go to that All-Star game. <laughs> up the far wing. Snail for Ottawa over the line. A drop pass to Lowen. He'll take a shot. It hits Brown in the ankle. Lowen in the corner. Sweeps the puck behind the net. Joseph there to tip it away from Boschman. Then in front, Butcher takes down Doug Snail. And there'll be a penalty called here with 59 seconds to go in the game against Darth Butcher. He continues to play hard, tough hockey around the front of the net, even with the Blues with this three-goal lead, 59 seconds to go in the game. Butcher will go off. But what a play by Brad Marsh. You know, he's always been known to be a good defensive player. First he dives and knocks the puck away from Craig Janney, and then Brendan Shanahan will end up picking up the puck, and Marsh makes a great play blocking the shot and then clearing it back the other way. He is ready for that all-star game. Who says those old-timers can't play? That was terrific. That was just fun to watch, and they appreciate that here. Butcher gets the penalty at 19.01, two minutes for interference. Let's remind you we'll be in Tampa 
on Saturday night the Blues against the Lightning and uh, the Lightning returning home from a nine game road trip the Blues concluding a four game road trip that game will be on TV as well as radio Saturday night the telecast beginning at 630 Central Time from the Expo Center the Expo Hall at the fairgrounds in Tampa and the Blues home Tuesday night against Toronto here's Shaw from the blue line a shot knocked down in front loose puck and it is under the legs of Curtis Joseph and he smothers it to stop play with 50 point two seconds remaining. Boy he has been good tonight Curtis Joseph hasn't been tested often but when he has been tested he's come up with some great saves. What Ottawa is doing on their power play is that they like to get the puck back to the point and then they send two or three players right to the front of the net to look for the deflection or the screen but Curtis Joseph has been able to stop the majority of those shots. Now the face off to Joseph's right won by Mark Lamb back to Brad Shaw on the near boards to Jody Hall. Back to Shaw now returning it to Hall he has trouble it gets away Norwood gets the puck up to Ron Sutter and he clears it the length of the ice. Thirty five seconds to go in the contest. The Blues lead it. Janney Brown Rich Sutter and Brett Hall have scored 4 1 minute and a half to go on the penalty but of course less time to go in the period down to twenty four seconds Lamb tips the puck in back forward is Norwood headed behind his net he stops there shoots it off the far glass to center ice Kevin Miller two on one with Wilson Shaw's back drop pass to Wilson in front for Miller and it's tipped away eight seconds to go Jody Hall far wing to Kodelski a long shot wide three seconds to go Blues have the puck can clears it to center ice and this one ends here at the Civic Center in Ottawa with Curtis Joseph and the Blues picking up road win number six they defeat the Ottawa Senators four to one and the Blues continue to play strong hockey especially on the road they have won three and tied two in their last seven away from home and have lost only twice in their last nine overall. Again, the final tonight in the first ever meeting between the Blues and the Senators. The Blues four, the Senators one, and we'll return to Ottawa, Ontario, Canada.